There were days where we thought we wouldn't make it out, but we stuck it out. Today's our day. Today's our day. There were nights we would fight, no end in sight. Nothing was right. Tonight's our night. Tonight's our night. I'll fight for you until this life is over. There's no giving up here, babe. We'll make it out and fall in love tonight. Ain't nothing needed but us feeling right. Just take a chance, we got a wild ride. Wait and see, you and me, we were meant to be. We were meant to be. We were meant to be. There were times when we found it, fell back in love. The best still to come. Our time is now. Our time is now. Okay, it's finally cooling off. I think it's about 94 degrees today as of right now. I think it's up over like 105 or something like that. Something crazy. Um, but you guys seen I got the chicken set up. I don't know if I've shown you guys the new baby chicks we got. We hatched these out at Brandy's mom and dad's and I went and bought a little coop. I didn't have time to build or anything like that. Like the best option is get one of these little coops at um, Tractor or at Woods and uh, have it ready, put, put the chicks in there and just go with it. Um, so that's what we did. I'm actually gonna have to move it because right here where it's at, I figured out it gets in the sun in the late part of the day, the hot part of the day. So I'm gonna end up moving it probably 20 feet back. I'm gonna wait for Brandy to get here and uh, we'll mess with that here in a little bit. But that's a big, that's a big water. I need to get a different feeder for them. I thought I had a better feeder than that. But those are two that we hatched out. And uh, I think Brandy's wanting to hatch some more out. But now that we got a little coop, we can put, um, I don't know, we'll probably get six, seven, eight more of these. We can put several of the little birds in there and then they get bigger, we'll introduce them to the flock. Huh, that one's a little rooster and the other one looks like a hen. But the black one's a rooster and the, the yellowish one is the hen. So a big thank you to Ritual for sponsoring today's video. You guys know I have been using Ritual for several months now. Any chance I get to supplement a breakfast or a lunch, I do with their protein drink, vanilla flavor. It's absolutely awesome. It doesn't leave that powdery taste that most uh, protein uh, powders do. This one doesn't. Goes down smooth every time. So if you guys are into um, supplementing your meal, or just adding protein to your diet. I will leave links down below. Click the links in the description box and a pinned comment. Put in Dutch 20 to get 20% off your order. You guys will not be disappointed if you're into this kind of things. Um, I know I have been a fan ever since my first drink. So check. Okay, the Vanilla Ritual Shake helps build and maintain muscle. And it also supports bone health. Um, there's no added sugar or sugar alcohols. It contains no major allergens artificial sweeteners or colors sweetened with a combination of fermented sugar cane and monk fruit so the pea protein is actually from peas grown in the usa using regenerative farming practices so if this is something you guys are interested in use the discount code i put on the screen go down to the description box click the link and in the pinned comment there'll also be a link um, i think you guys really like this if this is something that you guys are into uh, let's get back into the video it actually worked out pretty good we didn't get two roosters so that's always a plus when you're wanting hens, obviously. I didn't really want to buy one of these because um, they are expensive, but they don't last that long. I'll get a couple years use out of it. I've had one before and we literally, I bought it used and they had it for like a year and it lasted me a year and the roof started coming off. That's actually a different roof, so we'll see. Um, but it's gonna serve the purpose for at least a couple of years, so it'll be all right. And the dogs are taking a bath. Taking turns, getting in there, get in there, Gabby. She's gonna get in there. Yep, there she goes. Oh, she's gonna get back in there. So I'm anxious to see if these chicks will actually go up inside there um, tonight. This is the first time they've ever been outside. They've been in Brandy, Brandy's mom and dad's spare bedroom uh, in a in a big tote, and uh, 
today was the first time they seen dirt or anything, any other animal well, besides Max. Max kept wanting to play with them, but they wouldn't let him because uh, he'd probably eat them on accident, just playing around. Um, so what we're going to do now, got them uh, set up. I'm going to go turn the generator on for the water, and I'm going to fill up the water for the pigs. And then since it's cool, I need to get my deer feeders put up. I showed you guys a few videos back that I was going to put um, corn in there. I got the corn in the back of the ranger. And for some odd reason, if it rains one of these days, it's going to soak all that. So now that everything's dried out um, on the feeder, I'm going to take you guys back there and uh, hook the feeder up, put the corn in there. And what's cool is this morning I went out there just look at the pond, see how much water is in there. And there was a spotted fawn out there. So that's awesome. So and it was right in the area where I dumped the corn out. So they were eating that corn. They found the corn and eating it. And uh, so we'll put it up there, put some fresh corn in there for them. And we'll get the deer to start coming back in there regularly. And we've got another feeder over there. We might drive over and put some in there. So let's do that. Let's take care of some things and uh, go put the feeders up. And then uh, maybe if Brandy's here in time, we'll move the chicken coop back. If not, I'll just have to do it by myself. So while we've gone the last couple days, um, the the burn piles actually start smoldering, smoldering again. And uh, my father-in-law called me and said, "Hey, it's still smoking." We had one at work, and uh, it literally it was a big old pile, way way bigger than this. It smoldered for like four or five months. You still see smoke coming out of it almost every day. Um, it was crazy. So they are good on water. I actually, had let this run for like 45 minutes earlier just trying to fill it up get trying to get it muddy in there for them um, so they still got plenty of water and that was fresh 45 minutes ago an hour ago or so and they didn't get it muddy huh y'all you all ready to eat okay i might have to get another bag over in the, the cabin oh you got enough for tonight that oh the pig's doing good what you doing over here huh boy you're looking better i think you're growing he for sure is growing look how big he is wow twice her size you're a big hoss ain't you you just want to get in there and play don't you so the chickens crawl underneath the fence and they get in there and eat all the bugs and everything else there's some more over there so we actually got a pile of um, eggs that we need to give to the pigs that kind of went bad on us because we didn't get a chance to eat them, but it's okay, the pigs will eat them. All right, let's go out there to the little pond and get this deer feeder put up. Yep, so the little fawn was right there this morning. Gabby and Grace were behind me, but they never seen it. Let's see if there's any deer tracks in the pond. So this is a perfect uh, time to check see if this is going to hold water because it's so hot and dry the last month and a half, and it's holding water really well. Um, it's went down a lot, but that's because there's been no rain or anything. Look at that. There's a frog in there. I want to see if there's any deer tracks. We've seen some before. I kind of wanted any fresh ones. Oh yeah, there's a little, there's the probably the little fawn uh, track. So they are using this. Look, they're everywhere. All kinds of them, huh? There's tracks all through here. This is awesome. So that tells me they're using it. You gonna get in there, Gracie? Get in there, Gabby. Gabby, get in there. Go get him. Go get him. Go get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Oh yes. Gabby. Get it, Gabby. Gabby, get it. Go get it, Gabby. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it, Gabby. Get it. You're not falling for that trick. Yeah. Get all the deer prints. They're hitting this regularly. So the pond is serving its purpose perfectly. That's exactly why I dug this out when I did, is because I wanted the wildlife to have a place on our property. Could draw them in to get some water when they're thirsty. We'll have a feeder out here when they're hungry. And uh, we'll have a deer blind right over there when we're hunting. How's that sound? It's legal in Oklahoma to hunt over um, bait on your own property. And um, so we're not doing anything illegal. It's all legal. And that's a good thing. So let's put the feeder up and then uh, get going. No 
that wasn't too bad yet. I'm gonna try to do this without knocking it over. This already got a hole in it. So the price of corn has doubled. It's like 11 bucks. Last year it was like 5.98 or 6 bucks, something like that. 550. That's only about halfway full or so. That's good enough cuz we're going to put this other one at the other feeder. This battery's probably dead. I did forget about that let's see a big old spider that's awesome let's test it that's what i'm talking about so we will help feed the wildlife um, i had a boss years ago that used to raise deer he told me corn has no nutritional value for deer it's like candy to kids so when kids get candy all sugar he said that's what corn was for deer that, that's why i absolutely love it i don't know this is what he told me um let's go to the other trail and uh, let's put the other 100 pounds in that feeder and we'll have both feeders good to go for a month or so i haven't used this trail since i made it it just loops around All right, we made it back up here to the homestead. Let's go to the other feeder. This one's just a gravity fed one. It's not wet. That's awesome. What's crazy about this one this is where Hayden killed her big buck last year. Um, it's pretty much behind the house where the house is at now. Uh, all the times we hunted, I've never seen the deer come to this feeder. But obviously they did. So we will more than likely stay out of this area probably pretty much until hunting season. We'll just keep that crazy neighbor off of us over here. That's his, we're bordering his property over here. Um, he's got, there's some big deer that just go all over the place on his property, my property. There's so many deer out here, it's crazy. And uh, I'm excited. So this is probably one of the earliest I've started feeding, I've started feeding deer. Um, usually I feed in about September. Um, first week of September, second week of September. Um, but it's good to have it out a couple months before, a few months before hunting season. The deer will start to get um, used to coming in here to a certain spot. And it just, it just helps, it helps the kids get on deer, helps me get on deer. And I haven't really hunted, I don't think I hunted at all by myself here last year. I just took the girls every time, if I remember correctly. Um, I did go hunting at the refuge with some friends with the deer camp. And uh, we plan on doing a deer camp this year also. And uh, we're looking for a big army canvas tent. So if any of you guys know where one's at or where I can get one or something like that, let me know because we would like to, a um, group of men from the church would like to do a deer camp, but we want to do the big army canvas tent and be up there like a week or something. It's only like, as a crow flies, like three miles, five miles from our house. I think it's, as a crow's fly, it's right there. Um, it's not far at all. So. I forgot to show you guys, but uh, when I was burning the other day or a couple weeks ago, um, we watched the fire just kind of 
go into the woods um, there's no wind or nothing it just slowly burnt everything and i was really happy about that i wish it would have burnt all of it get rid of some of these ticks get some of, the, rid of these leaves a good controlled burn is awesome and uh so yeah we it didn't get out of hand out like that it actually stopped the road makes a really good fire break because my neighbor came over and said man i wish that would have went on my place um but our road we made uh stopped it from going over there and uh, it needs i wish it would have got i wish it would have got the whole 40 acres that would have been awesome um, but we just circled back around we're back over here by the sawmill now it's awesome that um i made the trails that i have that goes throughout the whole property when we first bought this place it's literally just solid wood you can barely even walk through this stuff so i rented a um a Kubota, i think with the brush cutter on the front and just started mowing trails just started mowing and then we found our home site that we had the big pine trees and up on the elevation you know we just like that spot that's how we found that spot was just by me coming through here mowing trails and found a few pine tree big pine trees that i like i think that's going to be a good spot um so now we have um pretty much roads established on the property and things like this little stuff that you don't think of like trails and little roads um adds value to your place putting a well on it adds value just anything you do to improve your land adds value to it um so if you ever did want to sell it or anything like that like if these would if these roads would have been established like these trails i got i call them roads so look at them it's a legit road i can, I can literally drive my truck through here to my neighbor's house um, but if they would have had this when i bought it we could have paid an extra fifteen thousand dollars more ten fifteen thousand dollars more easily just because you have access in there and uh, so yeah anything you guys can do to improve your property do it if you can so let's go back up here okay they haven't moved i'm gonna move their i'm gonna move their feeder and stuff and just drag it slowly about 20 feet that way did you get hot did you get hot on me Okay, got them all situated. I need to get a new water. That one's too big. Probably go for to the probably go to the gallon size and a smaller feeder because Brandy's wanting to hatch out more chicks. So they're gonna need more room in there. She's not wanting to hatch out like 20 chickens or nothing, but she, she thinks she would like to get another six to eight chickens hatched out. Um, so we'll do that. We got a lot of eggs. I wish we had our freeze dryer handy here. That way we can freeze dry eggs. That's something we're gonna have to figure out in the future because I want to start freeze drying again. But right now, running on generator, it's just not feasible. Let's go give these to the pigs real quick. I'll get those comments. I can't believe you're wasting eggs. And my reply back to it is, I'm not wasting them. I'm feeding them to my animals. So it's not a waste. I don't see that as a waste at all. But I always get those comments. Hey, Pearl Percy, I'll give them a couple. I don't know if Brandy's ever given them eggs before. We'll see. Trust me. We've been giving pigs eggs for years. And she likes it. Got one. Okay. You're going to teach your dogs to get eggs. I know. I probably taught my dogs to go get Betty's eggs. We still have not seen her heard her no sign of her what going on two weeks now so best case scenario she comes walking out of the woods with some babies worst case we don't ever see her again that'd be a shame because we really liked her <laughs> enjoy your egg omelet that, that girl needs all the protein she can get
See, that's not a waste. They're eating it. They're eating nibble on the shell there. Is she going to go for it? I think she's scared. I know these two want some bad. There's Bobby. Short feathered and all. All your long feathers are gone, ain't they, Bobby? You got all beautiful new ones, little ones. I wonder if he's going to go roost or what he's doing. I bet he's going to go roost. She ain't made her way back in there yet. Here she goes. She's going to do it. She's blocking it off. But she's making a run for it. Oh, she got one. She got one. <laughs> See how fast she was? Wow. They're kissing. Quit licking her nose. You see that? She, Gracie was licking the nose, getting the egg off the snout. Is she going to go for another one? Okay, well, I'll let them hash it out. I think that's all I got for you guys today's video. Thank you so much for coming along. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. Um, not a lot of work on the house today. It was just too hot. And uh, so we're doing other things around the homestead. And I got the deer feeders finally hooked up and uh, good to go. So catch on next one. Thanks for watching.